and welcome back to Roy and Rescue, Rescue fans. I have um, received all kinds of emails from different people, and I'm sorry, I haven't had much of a chance to get back with you. It's been not so in the office. Um, training is going awesome, but um, as promised, I'm going to try to at least get these uh, uncut, unedited answers back to you. Um, one of the questions came in that was really, really a good question was about AED use and certification, um, not certification, but execution of AEDs. And that was a question that came in saying, you know, look, what if I've got a pad that's made for an adult and I've got an infant or a small child who needs to be defibrillated, am I not able to use this AED? And the answer is yes, you can use the AED. Remember, you're dealing with a person in cardiac arrest. If we leave them that way, they're only going to stay dead. If we try to rescue them, we might be able to bring them back out of sudden cardiac arrest, get them into a perfusing beat, and save their lives. So, if you have AED pads, in almost all cases, you can apply the adult-sized pads, one to the center of the chest and one to the back so a sandwich of the pads, front, back, and then it'll analyze the rhythm or the dysrhythmia, and it will shock accordingly. Remember that these are attenuated pads in almost all cases now. So the, the AED really is created to test the impedance of the person's body to know how much electricity to use anyways. If there's peed pads, it should do that more effectively. but if the, there's no pediatric pads available, the AED is available, the baby or the small child's in cardiac arrest, I would not hesitate to use an AED on a baby if that's all I had um, without causing further harm. Again, remember, no breathing, no pulse, baby's dead, at least clinically dead, and anything we can do should help make it better, if not save the child's life. So I hope this helps. Keep on coming to me with questions. I will work towards getting these out to you. I've got um, multiple questions coming uh, in that I really want to get out this week, um, but I've also got another project that's pushing me um, along with the fact that I've actually got a product um, that's made for patient transfers that I really am anxious to get going. I've promised this um, person that I would get this uh, product demo done and get it out there so that we could have people see it. Um, I'm working towards that. Keep your questions coming to royonrescue at gmail.com. Follow me on Twitter at Ampersand royonrescue or feel free to um, uh, you know go to YouTube and subscribe to me there as well or on the Royan Rescue website royonrescue.com make sure to get out there and subscribe there as well. Until next time, keep on rescuing and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.